my channel and for those of you who are new here aloha subscribe and we can be friends forever so in my previous elizabeth arden video i mentioned that i'll be doing a full face makeup look using only elizabeth arden's makeup products so do watch to the end because i've got a little surprise for you guys stay tuned so i'm using the middle shade of forever plum as a base color because even though it's shimmery it's a very neutral ish brown so step one is very simple just spread this color basically all over your lid the reason why i'm using the given applicator instead of like my usual eyeshadow brush is because I find that this product applies especially well with this applicator. As I said before in my first video I did for Elizabeth Arden, these eyeshadows are super duper creamy. Not even kidding, not even lying, not even pulling your leg because hands down this is the most creamy eyeshadow I've ever used. What I like about it is that you don't need to be a professional. You can basically just bois the eyeshadow on and it works. You will see as I continue to apply the other colors of my eyeshadow how effortlessly this eyeshadow applies and blends. The next color that I'm gonna use is the third shade, the most darkest shade in the Forever Plum palette. For the next few steps, I'm gonna go deeper into my eyeshadow game and for that, I can't use the applicator because I need to be way more precise so I'm going to my go-to eyeshadow brushes. I usually use one fluffy brush and one more precise tip brush. No particular brand, a little product goes a long way so gently tap, don't overkill. And this color will be applied on the outer corners of your eyes and you can slowly blend it in. This step will give your eyes a little bit more definition and you can drag the colour to your lower lash line. Something like this. I kind of like how it looks right now. And did you see how easily that blended? Like yo, I just did this, da 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 and then that's it. I have like a brown smoky eye look. If you want to intensify the look a bit more, you can take the smaller brush and just darken the lower lash line and darken your crease. So I'm gonna soften the whole eyeshadow look with a peachy tone from You Had Me at Malor and I will smudge this part out hitting a little close to my brow bone. On days like this, I pray that I have more eyelid space so that I can blend my shadows all the way to the sky and never stop. Taking the lightest colour in the palette from You Had Me at Malor. I usually use a separate brush for the lighter colours because light colours shouldn't be contaminated and they should shine and be as pure as they can. This will be my brow bone highlight colour. Damn it bright you see damn! And also take a little of that same shade for your lower lid. So just smile and apply the highlight there. Ching! For my eyeliner, I'll be using their High Drama Eyeliner in Espresso. Officially come to the part which is the hardest to film on camera because there's no mirror. I'm doing my makeup via this tiny LCD screen. Y'all better give a thumbs up for my makeup skills right here because it's not easy. So what I usually do is just extend out my tip. I don't really like lining my waterline because I find that that's really uncomfortable. <laughs> So this is a soft look and your eyeliner doesn't need to be perfect. It has to have that like feathered smudged look. Okay, time for some mascara! First, I need to curl my lashes because my lashes are not permed and they need a lot of lift. The awakening of dye lashes. I did try both mascaras, the standing ovation one and the grand entrance one. I find that in the end, the grand entrance one, I like it better. Like I like the formula better in general. And for the falsies, I'll be just using a very sparse natural looking pair. They're actually one falsie but I cut them into half and then now there are two and these are like demi wispies. I trim them on my own so you can't find them anywhere else. So I usually apply it at a halfway mark of my eye. And I find that the point of applying falsies for this look is to keep them guessing whether hmm are those her real lashes or are those like extensions and also don't forget to blend your real eyelashes with your fake eyelashes because you don't want to have like a situation that two eyelashes are growing take your mascara and just glue your bottom lashes to your falsies like like this and cap it together for the extra glue
Today I'm using the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Brow Shaper and Eyeliner. I was at a photo shoot and they trim my brows until them skinny so this is what I have left to work with. And I can't stand any longer looking at my brows look like a sparse grassland. My natural brows are slightly arched and I do not like the arch look lah. So far I think it makes me look very fierce. It's not helping my RBF so today since we're going for the soft look we have to rock straight brows. How I like to draw my straight brows is that I like ruler like that, you know, first you just draw two straight lines. All you brow experts out there, don't come here and flame me. Just go away. I must say, this product really surprised me. It is my current favourite brow product. Plus, I wasn't expecting to like the brush. But after trying it out, I really like how it applies the product too. Can you see how easily the product applies once again? From the pen, it looks like a very powdery brow product which can cause a lot of fallout but I'm having zero fallout here and that's because when you apply it, the product somehow transforms into a cream-like texture. See what I mean? And now this brow, the colour is totally similar with my hair while this one is just, ah, uh, cannot make it ah. Uh. <laughs> now every day, ever since I tried this product, I've been using it. Okay, we have come such a long way and we have finally reached the face part of my tutorial. First off, I'm gonna start off with a primer. And this primer that I'm using here is the Flawless Start Instant Perfecting Primer. This primer is a silicone based primer, I think, from the texture and everything that I've tried. And so for silicone based primers, I try not to put it all over my face because this primer is to smooth out your pores and your imperfections and your lines. So I'll just focus it maybe on my T-zone area or places where my pores look extra large. The product colour is actually skin colour so it blends very well into your skin and you do not need much. And this primer really smoothens out your complexion. You can use this to just like dab the product in and it works just as well. So far, this is really one of the better silicone based perfecting primers that I've tried. For my face, um, I really have like a thin layer of sunblock on because sunscreen is important and I'm trying to adapt that into my lifestyle. I've been wearing sunscreen diligently guys! Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. It's gonna be a bit different today because I can't believe I'm saying this but I'm going to skip foundation. <gasps> okay, let me tell you why I'm skipping foundation. That's because for this look, I want a slightly translucent looking skin. And so far, I've tried all their concealers and my pick for today would be the Stroke of Perfection Concealer. The name really speaks for itself stroke of perfection all you need is a stroke to cover your imperfections because I find that this is really enough you do not need like another foundation to cake things up it's gonna look like too much what I'll be doing is just really like art class coloring all my problem spots and the concealer is so smooth it's quite a good match with my skin tone after I blend it out. Okay, basically just colouring my whole face. <laughs> As I mentioned, it feels like a moisturiser. Very lightweight but a medium to buildable coverage. And today I'm trying the Real Techniques Beauty Blender that you guys suggested to me and I, I do like it. Thank you for the recommendation guys. You don't want to like move the concealer around too much because that will defeat the whole purpose of applying it. Now that we are done concealing, moving on to the blush. This is my favourite part because recently I've been really into blushes. I'll be using the Beautiful Colour Radiance Blush, Blush Eclair in Blushing Pink. What I'll be using is this really huge fluffy brush right here. It's essential to create like the gradient blush effect which I'm going for today. So we want to start light on the blush first and we slowly build it up, concentrating on the apples of the cheek. Just tapping lightly in a circular motion. So, tap 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 all the way. Slightly more product and then make the circle smaller. Once you got this look going on like the gradient blush look like yang, I want to add a little bit of the other blush colour that I got. This one is in Sweet Peach and this is just going to be like the icing on top of the cake. Just tang a bit and just add a little more here. 
don't be shy, just go crazy with the blush. If you don't like it, too bad, it's my face. Okay, next we gotta set whatever we just did. I'm gonna use the High Performance Blurring Loose Powder. Quite excited about this because I love a good loose powder. Swirl it, make sure the brush is evenly coated with the product. Now that we have set everything in place, I would like to proceed to highlight and contour because I like to put that on top of my loose powder. For highlight, we'll be using the Forever Glow Highlighting Powder. So this new limited edition Forever Glow Highlighting Powder is from their Bronze Vibes Color Collection which is out in their stores right now. We want a very soft shimmery highlight so I'm going to mix the top two colors together. Ching, 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 ching. Okay, we're gonna put a bit on the tip of my nose. Moving on to bronzer, we're gonna warm up this look. So this is a contour brush that I always use and today we're gonna try something different. This is a shimmery bronzer. Elizabeth Arden Sunset Bronze Prismatic Bronzing Powder. I've never worn a shimmery bronzer before. I'm excited to see how I feel about this. Woohoo! We're gonna start with the jaw because that's where I need most help with. Okay, it's a very soft bronzer which is good, which is good for this look because we're not going for anything harsh, remember? And what I like to do is that once I've gotten the angle here done, I will drag the product up. And we are not gonna like contour here today because we want the cheeks to look rosy. Not bad, not bad. I'm not hating it. I think it's very blendable. Very forgiving to work with. We gotta put some on the nose bridge area because every girl needs a little help for a slimmer nose. Okay girls, so I can tell the difference between a matte bronzer and a shimmery bronzer. I find that the shimmery bronzer, you know how some girls like to mix like the liquid bronzer into their foundation? Like the shimmery kind of bronzer into their foundation so their foundation looks a bit like glowy. Shimmery bronzer helps you achieve that look but you do not need to mix the product into your foundation. It's more like an overlay. It's a very nice look I would say because it ties my whole like glowy look together. Ah! I love. Not bad, I learned something new today guys. Are we done? No, 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 no. We still got lips. So lips is the grand finale of every makeup look. For the lips, we're gonna go for a bitten look like a vampire like sucked on your lips for a bit. And we're gonna be using the Elizabeth Arden Sheer Kiss Lip Oil. We'll just be applying it on the center of the lips. We'll be finishing the lip look up with Red Door Crush and this will just be to fan the redness out. And we are done! I hope you guys enjoyed this soft glam look that I created. Maybe if you guys decide to wear it out someday, let me know, send me pictures. I completed the challenge of a full face makeup look using only Elizabeth Arden's products and what do you think? How did I fare? Before you guys go, I have an exciting announcement to tell you is that Elizabeth Arden will be doing a giveaway on my channel in this video. So if you guys stick to the end, congratulations, you can take part in the contest. One lucky winner will win $600 worth of Elizabeth Arden products. Oh my god, yes, you never hear wrong huh? $600 worth of Elizabeth Arden products, that's like almost everything that I use today. Want to know how to win? So in order to win, you need to be following Elizabeth Arden's IG account which I'll put right here. Comment down below what products you would like to win and your own IG handle so I can keep track. Yup, it's as easy as that and you might just be on your way to winning $600 worth of Elizabeth Arden's products. Liu 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 I don't know, Chinese people always say Liu Liu Liu, what does it mean? Somebody tell me also, please, thank you. So that's about it. Um, I hope you like this video. Do give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share the video. And I'll catch you guys next week. Bye-bye! Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Better not have lipstick on my teeth. It'll be embarrassing.